so good morning guys we have now an HP smart tank 615 the client said that the problem is there is no color black so I test this there's no color black so to confirm that we need to try the test uh, to test that guys we have to swipe here go to setup and tools and I already did clean cartridges so let's try again because sometimes cleaning this will solve the problem but I already did it doesn't make any sense So it's now testing uh, print test for nozzle test. So there is still no black here. So after that, you will uh, will have the screen. You will have this setting here. No, no, just here check printer quality print head so if it doesn't work you can try to proceed to the next second level cleaning so pressing yes will continue cleaning but I will click no because I already did so what we will have to do guys this is the first time I try to troubleshoot this printer so what I have in mind now is to remove to open this so to open this guys you need to turn off printer first open this and remove the screws here two screws I mean four this also screw here after that you can lift this so the screws has been removed don't forget to remove power and you can lift this and don't force firstly to lift there is a flex there you will need to remove everything So this is the cartridge. So I just want to look here for signs and cuts for the hose. Just to verify the continuity of the ink. So I think everything here is good. The ink goes to the black, it's okay. So you don't need to open this one if you're just cleaning this one. I just opened this to to reveal the or to check the hose there if there's a leak. Leak. Open this one and just press this one here as I said you don't need to open the whole upper case there there after you open that we need to clean this black but I will also clean the color as you can see the ink or the cartridge is very dry it's very dry and the color or the color cartridge is dry so we need to clean this by hot water so we are going to attempt to clean this or to soften the pads via hot water and hopefully it goes well
you need to pour the hot water into there another so leak hopefully it will not oh no it's okay so you will uh, leave this for a couple of minutes uh, you can move that you can see that the ink there so in this process you will uh, probably soften the pad there to make the ink flow this is not really 100% working but I have done this a lot of times for the cartridge that is clogged but if this thing will not work then you have to replace cartridges both or either one of them so let's leave this for a couple of minutes until it goes cold you can do it a uh, couple of times to make sure it will be the clog so let's uh, wait and test later on so I decided to repeat the steps to make sure that we have a soft pad there you can move around the cartridge so we're done and we need to dry this and test we need to use a tissue for this one so that it will not damage the cartridge so after cleaning with hot water we need to uh, wipe the bottom part of the cartridge with a tissue let's start with the color there you can see that is a good sign but we don't have any really problem with color just light so the main problem here is the black so let's try the black so as you can see guys the black is now having a line straight line that's a good sign that the cartridge is softened or the the pad inside is softened So after this we will try to test if there will be black color. You can do this as many times as you want just to make sure that the ink is flowing. There. So that's a good sign that the black cartridge is um, now soft uh, before it was really hard and it was very dry there I'm sorry that I did not have a video for the test before and after but I did it uh, before I boiled water and there is no black coming out just do this one side one uh, direction After this we will test, install this back and we will test. So let's attempt to reinstall the cartridge and test. So as I said you don't need to open all, all this in the upper part if you are just cleaning this one you can just open this one 
here but I just make sure that there's no broken hose there to return the cartridge you will just insert there make sure you are in this area and then let it snap same as the black and snap and then return this one should uh, there it should be locked make sure it's locked and then I have to return the top cover So after installing that, we need first to uh, test tools. So we go to print quality reports. So I think it's cleaning for the meantime. So what have we done? What have we done guys? The black is restored. Look. The black is restored. We have test pattern one, test pattern two and three. So we have now black color compared to compared to the previous one. We just fixed the cartridge guys. But uh as I said, not all cartridges will be fixed by that technique. There are times that you need to replace cartridges. But for club, club uh, cartridges, you may try that one. And so far, for our test here, it's working. The black is in good quality now. And also the color. So this one is fixed, guys. We have to return the screws. So I might show you how to just open the cartridge guys without removing the top. You just snap there and open this one. Simple as that guys. So so that's all guys for uh, today thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and peace